Morrison and this is Bibliotherapy. In this episode we meet South Coast-based writer and journalist Amy Malloy. Amy is the author of two memoirs, Wife Interrupted and The World is an Answer Place, as well as the children's book, How to Recycle Your Feelings. She offers us her reading recommendations. It was really hard for me to pick even a selection of books to chat to you about today because there are so many that have helped me to heal um, on my personal journey. I was widowed when I was 23. I watched my father be paralyzed from cancer when I was 17. Um, and all of the other small, medium and large challenges that we all face in our life. I have taken so much solace f from storytelling and particularly non-fiction stories and how we can share our own personal experiences um, in a book, on paper, in a way that can help others to heal from um, the adversity that they are going through too. So, I um, am especially interested in trauma because I have seen the impact of holding emotional trauma in my own body and how that has such an impact over the years on my physical health, my emotional health, um, my relationships, my work, basically all areas of my life. Um, and so I have picked a couple of books to chat to you about which are particularly relevant to trauma. Um, and trauma in terms of anything that can put our body, our mind, our soul into that shock response and how um, storytelling can help us to release it. So um, my first book is I Choose Eleanor by Lucia Osborne Crowley. Um, this is a beautiful short memoir. I read it in a day, even around a toddler and a baby. Um, and it is, as the cover says, a masterful examination of trauma and finding solace in literature. So um, Lucia Osborne Crowley, she um, was sexually assaulted when she was a teenager. Um, but really it's about what happened afterwards and how not being able to process those memories and that moment had a knock-on effect on the rest of her life and her journey to um, explore how an emotional trauma can impact us physically and the incredible and slow progress, realistic progress that she made over the next 10, 15 years to kind of find herself again, connect with her body again um, and release herself from her past. I love it because it's realistic. It doesn't offer some quick fix um, magic rainbow pill that's going to evaporate your past and make everything okay, um, which I think sometimes can be depicted in movies and TV. It's honestly saying it's taken her a long time to get to the point of reconnecting to her body and as someone who has experienced eating disorders in the past um, and I'm often asked by people like how did you overcome it how did you get better and I always feel guilty by saying it was such a long progress but these were the steps that I've taken but I can't offer you some magical remedy for me this book resonated with me so much um, so I highly recommend it. The second book I will quickly talk about is Anatomy of the Spirit. You don't have to have a spiritual practice. You don't have to be some hippy dippy woo woo to enjoy it or um, learn from it or just for it to trigger a little bit of intrigue in you. It is a book about the seven stages of power and healing, but it really talks again about how our emotions can have an impact on our health our immune system and it breaks down what certain researchers, scientists, um, thought leaders, innovators believe can be linked to certain ailments in your body. Whether you've got asthma or infertility issues or gut issues, um, what in your life might have triggered that. Um, it's definitely a really good talking point com um, book. And it's definitely relevant to this time in our lives with this pandemic swirling around us. Um, honestly, there were parts that I glossed over because it did get a little bit too hippie even for me. But there was so much um, insight into it, which has helped me to continue to heal and to heal my babies 
um, and to heal my family. So I think my message to you is that storytelling can really help to emphasize that link between our body and mind and how it's also interconnected um, can help us to release our own past by hearing about somebody else's um, historical adversity and um, can help us to move, fo move forward and improve our health and well-being overall. Mm -hmm.